All right, thank you for those of you that have been following my journey today. I've got a full body workout with no equipment needed. So no equipment needed, full body workout. You can do this in the comfort of your own home, your office, wherever you are. And it is follow along as well too. Uh, the structure of this workout is every single exercise follows 10 reps. So very easy to follow. And I am going to be putting all the reps and sets in the description. Uh, so stay with me as we go through as I explain this workout. So today another day in ISO um, I'm almost out and I'm going to be in the gym soon um, after today so which is uh, pretty awesome I'm excited for you guys to um, see how I actually trained all the way through and I saw my challenges my struggles and my wins at the end of the day too i'm uh, going back in the gym as well so all you um, gym nuts can also be getting workouts again as, and see how I train um, when we're in the gym. So that's pretty, some like, pretty exciting news, which I'm excited about. So I started off with some squats there, uh, very, very simple, and then some push-ups. Now, what I'm doing over here, guys, and then I'll go into some ab work. So it's a full body workout, essentially, uh, which is basically only body weight. There's no weights required. Now, what we are doing here is getting some nice control with these movements, getting some nice full range um, with these movements, just getting those joints nice and warm in the first round. Everything is for 10 reps, okay? Also, one of the things that I really focus on when I'm working from home or even working in the gym is ensuring that my breathing is good. So me having to actually focus uh, consciously on my breathing is a very important part of my training so during my first sets or my warm-up sets i actually utilize that time to actually really draw my attention to breathing and controlling the movements to help me know what i'm executing and get my body very comfortable with it before i proceed and actually increase the intensity so that's another um, little tip for you guys that can help you with any sort of training wherever you are always start off focusing on your breathing next up pumping it out we've got some frog squats these ones are a nice little roaster for the quads as well going down nice and low extending all the way up as well and i remember even just after this a few reps into this i could really feel my quads kicking really feel my quads burning now i like to hold on to my um shoes or my heels sorry my toes because it just allows me to keep my center of gravity slightly forward and force me to push through the ball of my foot and activate those quads and get those quads burning okay and this is amazing now i'm going into a close stance push-up to hit a little or more like a diamond stance sorry um to really hit those triceps and target those triceps as we go so it's very nice execution over there as well too really focusing on the muscle i'm um, really pushing and now with a movement like this, you can also go on your knees as well as a variation. So if you are a beginner or intermediate um, lifter and you struggle to do diamond push-ups on your toes, feel free to jump on your knees as well too because anyone can do this workout, beginner to an advanced trainer. Okay, this is a really, really cool one as well. I personally love uh, knee tuck. So bringing our knees closer to our chest as we go. Uh, my mat was playing up a little bit over there. So that was giving me a little bit of worries there. But using your core to balance yourself while you're up and controlling it, squeezing your core all throughout. Once you've got some good rhythm, once you've got everything going, you can start to move a little bit faster through this movement. And you're going to feel your core really burn for that. So it's kind of like very like circuit work and very very minimal rest with all this now this is awesome why when you come here you do it some pulses okay and when you, those pulse reps are controlled this is one of the things whenever you guys do pulse reps and this is where people make the biggest mistake they go too fast and their joints take over now if you really want to feel any sort of muscle work in any sort of pulse reps control the movement okay that's where you can actually feel it work the most like over here i'm really focusing on control and making sure that i'm working those muscles while i do it the control is everything i could really feel my quads working hard over there okay now with my push-ups as well too i'm going a little bit wider stance and i'm still making sure i'm getting those little pulse reps pulse 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 okay very controlled still doesn't matter um you know the intensity of it i'd rather control especially with these ones and stop than um 
go super fast and just get your joints really really overtaken and you can see with my close downs that look at the triceps start to pop a lot more really really focus on those keeping that tension on the muscle that's the whole purpose of these pulse reps every single exercise we do is for a reason okay this is also just keeping that core in almost a fully contracted position but we also we only hidden the um the top range of the core workout okay so that's basically taking out the other parts of the workout and then we've got some crunches again very short range so probably the bottom range um, of the movement or the starting range is what i'll say so the first one is more the end range this is probably like closer to the starting range of the movement um so very different exercises guys that's what i like about this one because it stops you from getting bored um as opposed to if we're going to we repeat we repeating the same exercise with the same reps and sets. So this is pretty cool. Um, starting to hit some calves as well. Was this one was fun? Um, getting those contractions in, getting those squeezes in. This is good. This is really really good. Okay, but I also wanted to show you what I was doing. So you see how I pointed my feet out uh, over here. And then you guys can see me work my calves as well. Now, there's no weight on this. I know this is so easy for me, but it's just another way to pump as much blood into the muscle. Obviously, if you're working with weights at home, it's better to use that instead because you're going to get a lot more resistance and you're going to get a lot more out of the workout. So that's also another important factor to consider. And obviously, I'll turn to the back so you guys can actually see and feel um, what i'm doing so when you guys are actually executing the movement yourself it's easier for you to know which direction you want to go so this is a um, very crucial part of training you guys know execution is everything you guys need to ensure that you execute a movement really well when you do it so that's one of the biggest things you want to really really focus on while you do these movements nice control over there this is what is going to bring it in now this is a very different one i want you guys to really focus on this see how i've actually twisted my hands in now if you feel very uncomfortable doing this please do not do this uh because i don't want anyone hurting themselves this is probably more of an advanced movement you can just switch to a normal push-up that is totally fine with your hands by the side and even keep your um knees and again we come into a little bit more of an explosive form of a push-up or apply push-up you don't have to clap you can just go explosive off and you can go on your knees as well for something easier as well too like i said guys beginners to advanced trainers can do this workout now we've got some russian twists as well too a very great movement all of you would know how great a russian twist is and very challenging as well too gets that core kicking as well too and hitting the sides and you guys will get a nice feel out of it now if there's any exercises that you guys really like and do at home drop them in the comments below because i want to know as well and know what you guys do and if there's any way i can help you guys as well i want to help you guys as much as possible so please help me help you as well too um again these are daily live streams so you guys get to see every single thing i do daily for the whole 30 days i'm going hard with this um you know i haven't failed you guys yet and i'm not going to <laughs> uh hands are yet uh um also got live streams as well too daily live streams so you can catch me on um during the day um in australian time as well while i do the live stream so this is it's pretty fun i've been this is the most engaging i've been on youtube uh and you know i plan to be here for a long period of time but i also need your support guys i need you guys to please if you can keep watching these videos to the end uh so youtube will um, continue to promote these because i need these videos to promote because i do spend a lot of time uh producing these contents and for you guys i want to help you guys as much as possible so please help me help you guys as much as possible as well too and if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below uh turn on your post notifications as well like this as well so you can push the algorithm i appreciate everything that you guys do i'm very thankful for you guys uh supporting my content and this is actually a burrito exercise over here so it's basically a frog squats with a jump squat it's intense i can't stress on the intensity of this workout this was actually nuts and it's a good one and again going back to our nice um little pulse rep with our push-ups okay so when i go down i get nice little pulse reps in between and this was also another nice challenging one which is amazing it was really good um i really really felt it 
And overall, like, this workout gave me a good pump. Like, I got nice and sweaty. I mean, I already was a little bit sweaty as well because I always do cardio before these sessions. But it got me nice and sweaty. Got a nice little pump as well too. And your boy... Your boy was working. It really got you it got me working. It's a whole different um, story when you're working out from home as to when you're working out at the gym. They both got the advantages. They're both challenging your own ways. And you get the most out of both of them. So I just want to say a big thank you guys again. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for joining me. Your boy is up. Peace. Woo. We get some poison in here as well too. And yeah, hope you guys are all having a lovely day. Stay tuned for your next one. Push.